How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Triforce Heroes. I am I Six and Times. In the last episode, we took on the Moblin base. And in this episode, we're going to take on the Forest Temple. So before we get done with this episode, please give this video a huge thumbs up. It helps out the channel and the series so much. And I would really appreciate it. Now let's go on, awake our doppelgangers, and take on this Forest Temple. Hopefully we don't die too much, because I heard this is very difficult. Just because the temple is actually the main deal. It's going to be versing an actual boss. So no, like, very, very simple bosses this time. So let's jump right in and take on this thing. Here we go. Forest Temple. We're going to use the Kokiri clothes this time. Which will let us shoot three arrows, like I said, like a million times in the past, like, three episodes. But we can finally do it. So that's pretty great. Let's jump right up. I'm going to take my friend here. Put him across like that. Pick up some bombs, because this time only, we don't have the opportunity to get more than two arrows. So we're going to have to have our main character, me, as the arrow thrower, which is pretty fantastic. So there we go. Let's pick up our friend here. Throw him like this. I'm just going to stand right there. Wait for my friend to come back down. But we do need to unlock this little arrow thing here. Uh, because that is basically what it is. We have to use the fire arrows to unlock the door, because that's how this uh, little puzzle is. It's very, very obvious, but let's pick up a um, friend here, like this. And then we can just open up the door like so. And the hands of the door will go back into the center door, and then we can just throw some bombs at the, the sky for some reason. I don't know why they're here, but apparently that's a thing. We have to just throw them right in the center of this guy's eyeball, and that will really, really, come on. Get one job. All right. Yeah, we did it again. Right into the center. That was a nice little swish there, boy. And we just made that thing go right into the middle, and then we're good. Oh, gosh dang, I messed it up again. Throw it around at the guy. That does not open up the door. We have to actually use our hands. Which makes sense. That really does make sense, but... Let's continue on by collecting the rest of these little pots here. That is it, right? That is it. So let's finish off the first stage of the Forest Temple by throwing the rest of our people in there. Very nice. The doppelgangers are real today. And we can now take on the second stage of the Forest Temple. Which is going to be a little bit more tricky. I'm pretty sure I played this as well in the demo or I watched it in the um, treehouse that Nintendo did when E3 was happening. So this is pretty cool. So let's uh, throw some bomb. Oh, dang it. Oops, 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 oops. Th oh, 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 oh no. That was bad. Oh, whatever. I guess I can't throw bombs today for some reason. We just had the freaking uh, try to pace the people out. We're going to have to make it so that we make it uh, to them when they're just standing still, which is very, very difficult sometimes, but... Oh, gosh, we missed it again. But we actually got it, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good. We have well, any more of those guys? Well, one more guy. Throw it. Oh, my well, gosh, dang, we missed it totally. That was a very bad throw. Like that, and we did it. So let's pick up the rest of our guys. I'm going to... Uh, this guy down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up my friend me and Then we can just kill these guys like so they're not gonna be difficult at all Because they'll try to throw down a little bit and then I'll just go right back onto the pillars Wait This is not what I want. We can just go like this with the two. Yeah, I was, I was messing up with my timing So that stinks, but now that we know what to do because that's how this is you have to figure out a way to actually get past this place and we did it so Two is better than three at some little instances, so keep that in mind. We're going to throw these guys down here, but I'm going to go back over here to collect some more hearts and some rupees, so we can basically collect some more clothes in the future. Since rupees are a very, very huge currency in this game, as it clearly is, along with the material that we need to unlock these clothes, every little bit counts. So now let's move into this next part, which has a lot of very treacherous traps. Which you're going to have to get past somehow, which I did immediately because I am the boss. And then we can throw some little uh, bombs here, which will I'll break this little switch. That will make this little fire, fl uh, this little fire arrow go around, which is pretty nifty. And then throw this guy down. And then we can just shoot the rest of these things off of the 
cliff, and we can fall off that ledge for no reason. That is pretty awesome. Thank you so much for this. So let's get our red friend back. Not like that, but let's go over here like so. Just run as fast as possible. These guys are very, very scary. Oh, dear God. They're catching up. <laughs> and we can just collect some more rupees. As it clearly is. Oh. Wait, what? So apparently... Oh, we can grab. That's a, a good instance of the A button. If you haven't noticed already. We can use it to push as fast as possible. Over to this other, over to this other side. Which will lead us over to some arrows. That we need to get past. Which is a very difficult thing to actually accomplish. But luckily for us, all we have to do now is just walk across this little platform without any troubles in the world. And use our Pegasus boots, please. Thank you. Throw Sky over the ledge. And then die immediately. Fantastic. Oh, dear God. Throw it. Very nice. And then we're done. And we unlock the Triforce once again. Which now, in turn, we can go right inside. Throw these guys over. And then this guy will just hobble across. Can you please? Oh, dear God. He's moving forever! And now we can't do anything about it! Oh, no. Well, we, we finished. Don't worry. We don't worry. He's just your average everyday walker. Now, this is the first boss ever. Look at this stuff. Here he comes. We have to walk all the way down with every single one of these guys. And what will appear is the first guy. Here he is, guys. He is here to stay. Oh my gosh, Margoma. So there we go. Let's watch out for this guy's little uh, spinning attack. It's basically like the same exact boss from A Link Between Worlds. He tries to like attack you and stuff, which is kind of crazy. Oops, throw it. Why? Throw it. Oh dear God, that was not a good idea. We have to actually use the, our double powers to throw it far enough to uh, do enough damage to actually attack this guy. So let's wait again. Here he comes, and then throw it, and then throw him at the same instance. Oh, no, 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 no. Throw him at the same instance, and then start attacking him. Very nice, and then jump off as quickly as possible. And there we go. Now he will emerge into his second form, which will have to use the three-prong, I'm pretty sure. Three-prong, yeah. Three-prong, don't bother me, baby. That's great. So after we shoot him with another uh, bomb, we're going to need to uh, switch over to our blue friend. And basically throw our red friend up there. Because this is how this is. For some reason, you actually throw your friends higher if you're throwing from the middle. Which is very nice to hear. Uh, throw. And, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, throw. Throw him. Eh. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, that was so close. Thank the Lord. Now, all we have left to do is kill him one more time. Which what I'm going to do. Staying up here for no reason. Screw you. <laughs> Come on there, buddy. Let me take you on right now. Yeah. You can't stop me and my nice music moves. All right, whatever. That was a nice vacation from this amazing battle. Come on there, bro. Let's take you on. Really, guy? Come on. And then you throw him up like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Throw him like that again. Wait, like that. Throw, throw him up and then finish him off. Three attacks will actually kill him. And then we can keep on slashing him with our swords, which I'm going to switch over to my green friend, which is actually me. And keep on attacking him as fast as possible. There we go. Very nice. And we can use our bow and arrows to attack him as, um, in a very long range attack. And he is done. He is totally out of this world. And we have accomplished our goal, which is to save one of the clothing pieces. From that random chick witch who uh, kidnapped all of uh, Styla's stuff. So there we go. Let's collect all the rest of these rupees as quickly as possible. We messed it up. We actually got that uh, five rupee again. So that's pretty nifty. One last throw. And now we're good. And we can collect our prize. Which is hopefully something spectacular. I do not know yet. Let's go, baby. What do we get today? Let's go right into the right side. And we got a Tektite shell. Pretty cool. Hey, there's something else here. What is this? You got the ladies' glasses. Okay. Cool. That's really weird, but whatever. The Forest Temple is completed. And we got 247 
rupees. Because if we don't die, then we get 90 for some reason, which is pretty cool. So there we go, guys. We have completed the first area of the game, the Woodlands. It is totally done. And we can basically go on and uh, go on to the next place. New areas have been unlocked. So guys, in the next episode, we will take the glasses over to the madame and uh, do some more levels from this place. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.